Welcome to Discovering Kansas City. I'm Mitch Weber. This Memorial Day weekend, there will be many events around the area to honor veterans. Cars for Heroes has been honoring veterans for the last 20 years by providing cars to veterans in need. Just a couple of weeks ago, they did a surprise giveaway and it ended up being the mother of the veteran who was the most surprised. She wanted to get her son some help. And uh, if anything, these young military people that are in, we don't want to see them struggle. She did not know if she was getting a car today, but Paul, we're going to give you one. Thank you for your service. It's amazing. It's too good. Too good to be true, to be honest. She kept bugging me to come up here. I'm like, no, I don't need it. You know, there's probably people who need it more than I do. Like, plus I haven't been in that long, so it's like, I didn't feel like I have earned it. Thank you for everything. You guys can help me get back on my feet, help me get my career started and get to school and to work. And obviously help my mom have a good Mother's Day. <laughs> I'm just very thankful, very thankful. This is a great organization. I am just amazed, amazed. I'm so proud of him, so proud. He just has always had this drive in him to, to help people and he would never ask for himself, never. He's always put other people above himself and it's a certain breed of people that are in the military and I, I see it. Thank you very much. And we'll definitely, when we get on our feet, be able to donate and help, but this is wonderful organization. If you'd like to nominate a veteran in need or if you have a car you would like to donate to the organization, head over to their website at cars, the number four heroes.org. There you go, you got it, you got it. Most people on average meet twice a week. It gives you that kind of two to three days in between each meeting. That way you're actually getting a checkup kind of, in a sense, twice a week. What we do is two sessions for $30. It's a way to get you in, try the trainer out, see what it's like if you've never had a trainer to have one, see what it feels like you push to your limits, see what it's like to have someone guiding you through the week rather than you just guessing. It, it requires you know, effort on your end, but you're gonna see what it's like to have someone help you out along your journey. You don't have to head to the Big Apple to enjoy your favorite musical. The Heartland Men's Chorus has compiled all of your favorite show tunes into one concert. It's hosted by Brian Ellison, and our cameras went along with him as he hit the streets of Kansas City to find out how much you know about show tunes. We finish this line of the song. First one to say it wins. You ready? The hills are alive. Judges, it's a tie. We have to do a tiebreaker. Ready? Just a spoonful of sugar. Judges, it's a tie again for the win. All right, ready? You have to sing the next line. Okay. 76 trombones. In the big parade. I'm sorry, uh, it, was, it, was a little, parade. it was a little pitchy. It was a little pitchy. It's gotta be pitchy. <laughs> Tell me your name again. Sophie. Sophie's the winner. Congratulations, Sophie. In the musical Annie, Oh, 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 okay. I've seen the movie. <laughs> what is the name of the man who adopts Annie? Oh, Annie oh, Warbeck. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's correct. <laughs> okay. uh, another question about Annie. What is always a day away? Tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> I love you, tomorrow. <laughs> I can tell you probably played this role in a musical, <laughs> haven't you? Maybe. No. No. Have you ever been in a musical? No. No. But I have a son who's in a in a symphony. A symphony. Yes. And, and do they do a lot of Broadway musicals in that symphony? Do they, do they perform any? Right? No. No. Okay. But you still know a lot. I try. Okay. One more question for you. Then. Oh no. What color is Annie's dress? Red. There you go. Always oh, red. That's correct. You're the big winner today Yay! on Showtune Showdown. Is, are, are you big fans of uh, of Broadway musicals? Yes. Are yes. you? Yes, we are. What's your favorite? 
Les Miserables. Les Miserables, very good choice. How about yours? Same. Same? Same. It's a family thing. It's a family <laughs> yes, it thing did with you, us, yeah. How many times would you say you've seen it? Eight yeah. or nine times. Is there a, is there a, my gosh, that's really impressive. Yeah. Have you seen, you've seen it here in town? We've seen it here. It, we've seen it in Houston, San Antonio, Oklahoma City, Dallas. I forgot where else. Wow. <laughs> yeah, several what's places. Your, what do you like about it? The music. The, the music. story. Right, and the story. Do you have a favorite, uh, favorite number? Empty chairs and empty tables. Empty chairs and empty yeah. tables. You gonna sing it? It's kind of sad. Empty chairs and empty tables. Do you wanna do you wanna sing it together? No, no you no, can't. No, I mean sing go it. ahead. No, we don't if you sing, start, we I'll enjoy. I'll join in. <laughs> no, I can't sing it. <laughs> empty sing. chairs at empty tables. Yes. That That's really good. Okay. That's good. Okay. <laughs> in the musical Annie, what is always a day away? Tomorrow. Correct. <laughs> We're gonna go with one more. Seven brides for Seven brothers. Seven sisters. Brothers. Uh, brothers. Brothers. Seven brides for seven sisters. I appreciate your commitment to same-sex marriage. Thank you so much for your support. That's great. Good work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the family that loves Les Mis. The Showtune Showdown, June 10th and 11th. Head over to our Facebook page. We've put a link to where you can buy tickets. All right, thanks for watching Discovering Kansas City. You can always catch us on our Facebook page at Discovering Kansas City or you can find us on our website at discoveringkansascity.com. Until next time.